So it's pretty easy to set this thing up. You just roll it all the way back like you would a bucket. And then that's close to the sweeping height you want. Now, if you want to engage the debris digging rakes, you just nose it down a bit. Then once you see them compress, you can drive around and employ the rakes. So like I was saying from the outside, the rakes do give you a pretty good indication of where you've been driving. So I'm just following the old uh, tracks here. And like I said, if I'm uh, feeling it's dragging a bit too much, it's pretty easy just to bring it up and slightly disengage the rakes. So we'll get into this section a little bit. And I can really feel those things digging. As I see terrain change, I just slightly adjust, bring it down a bit more so I'm still engaged, and then when I get to the bottom, bring it back up. Now these things are very heavy duty, so I am babying a little bit, but this thing is made out of such strong uh, steel, you can pretty much just run it into most things we're going to find here, and it's going to be alright. The spring teeth on the front are all 0.375 of an inch, so you're likely not going to wreck anything unless you really attempt to. But the way we have it set up is that it does work pretty well just laying in its back position like I just dropped it to. So like, we will include a instruction booklet, operating instruction booklet with this. But for the most part, it's pretty intuitive. You just roll it back to its uh, rear position like you would with scooping a bucket. And then it's pretty simple just to uh, adjust the height as you're moving. It's a continuous adjustment, so you can keep it at the level you want it to be at pretty easily. So we're going to take it back over to that scrap bin. I've gone around pretty much just the outside of this area once now. And we can see what I got. Now this is a less expensive and simpler version of our Ossicat. Well, it's not a different version, it's a different approach to the same problem. So the Meerkat's really meant for someone you're not using it every day, but you maybe have a big problem area or you're doing large construction areas and you need to clear them quickly, this is very fast. Now this might not be as fast as a trailer or something you tow behind a truck, but it's a lot more intuitive to cover ground with because you're not having to back around all the time.